so hello everyone in this video we'll be making use of this blog model which we created in the last video i hope you got it so for now i just added these three fields later on if you want to expand that or extend that so we can do that so let's create a simple route for creating a blog uh, as you know that we tested out with this get uh, route by using a browser we'll be similarly creating a post route instead of a get route let's name it as create blog and we can simply get the request and response first of all let me just log the request dot body whatever we'll be getting uh, let me just make it as data from request dot body so request dot body will contain our data and one more thing uh, uh, although we are adding a course things here we also need to add one more middleware which will be uh, converting uh, every every data or basically uh, allow us to uh, send uh, the JSON data in a post request so that will be using express dot JSON you can make use of this so we, you don't uh, get any other arrow right so let me just add success since it is a post request so we cannot make a request from browser itself because browser is suitable for get request only let's just uh, make a post request with the postman software postman is basically a software that allows us to test web apis so this is the api that we created create blog uh, which we'll be testing out with the help of oh instead of logging request or body let's log data so we'll be testing it out with postman so you can download and install the software and test out any api that you uh, you want if the front end is not yet prepared so in our case the uh, front end is not yet prepared so we'll be testing our web apis or the back end apis with the help of this software so let it load now you can uh, start with a new request by using uh, by adding a new request with the help of this new button and we can make it as http now here you can specify uh, the backend endpoint which is basically nothing but http local host 5000 so this is basically our backend uh, backend domain basically localhost host name basically and now i can specify the endpoint which is create block and as you know this is a post request so we'll be making a post request and in the body I can simply uh, add a raw JSON. Let me just add a title. Let's say intro to programming. Let's add a simple description called description. And this is a description. and we can also specify author which is me let me just write John do yep so if I make a request and click on send so it will make a post request to our backend server you can see it is sending us success which means our API is successfully logging our result and sending the success message now what I will do is I'll create a new document with the help of this data I can uh, use try catch blocks because sometimes we may get errors so we can log the errors here let's dot send error I can send the error and now I can get the response I can call blog blog model as, as it is so you can see uh, the blog is imported now I can make use of blog and create it so 
so there is a create method that we can use and pass the data in here which will give me the result or the response and I can send the success message or I can simply uh, log back the response otherwise let's just send a success message instead of logging it out yeah so if I do that let me just make it an async function so it waits for that yep yeah so that's it let's save it Now if I just go to postman now and make the request again okay what is the issue now let me just log it or export it here at the oh sorry we are not using ES6 import so I have to use like this lock like this I have to do so let me just do that way so that should work you can see this is not crashing now if I just make the API request now so it should create uh, the, the item in the backend if I see okay maybe in the mongoose I think they have updated it so let's just use a simple new blog and then you can specify the data blog and specify the response here now maybe I'm using the latest version that's why the previous things are not working I think okay so this is also another way to do this let me just check it out do it okay so I by mistake I uh, type this B as capital so earlier it was like this so that's why it was not finding the same method so now we change it to simple block which is the smaller one this one and we are saving it and then we are waiting uh, to save this uh, document inside the uh, model and then we are sending the response so after that we can send this uh, success message as well as the response back to the user which is created also the success message here is not correct so I'll be sending the status code as well which is 400 and then I can specify a message something went wrong or let's say or the error message is not there so we can just simply send this type of message if I do that that will work you can see this is working now let me just pass some other data so we can test it out let me just pass let's say Python programming let's leave the other thing as it is Tony do let's say if I make a request you can see I'm receiving the data now and these three fields I passed and this these three or these four things are created by our mongoose database itself or basically mongoose schema itself so it automatically creates the ID which is this uh, alphanumerical numbers and created at at uh, the timestamps which we specified at the time of uh, creating schema 
and updated at and rest of things so this was it i hope you got it thank you for watching let's meet in the next video